This is Witchbase News for Friday the 19th of March 2021 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news FDev releases details on Odyssey's new tools This weeks triple play of CG's has modules, a ship and system permits galore and Malik's mind map endeavours to show you all the hidden strings of galactic intrigue. If you enjoy this video hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications as that stuff really helps the channel and if you'd like to further support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. As we record this video the alpha for the biggest and most hotly anticipated update to the elite dangerous galaxy ever ...Odyssey is just 10 days away and as that alpha gets ever closer Frontier has started releasing more glimpses of the kit that we can expect to be seeing and using alongside our newly functional space legs. Starting on Tuesday this week the Cambridge based developer has released a new image and some small descriptive text talking about some of the new handheld tools in the expansion. Tuesday saw an image detailing the energy link which is the device we saw overloading the door mechanism of the power regulator room in the recently released heist gameplay video. In that video it became clear that the link had at least two modes that it could be used in ...siphon and overload. According to the text from Frontier that accompanied the image released on Tuesday the device can discharge powerful electric pulses over a short distance. We know Frontier has said publicly that Odyssey will contain non-lethal options for gameplay and the somewhat cryptic text has led to speculation that the energy link can be used as a stun gun on targets of a somewhat more squishy nature than the door mechanism that we saw in the heist video. Following the energy link on Wednesday Frontier again released an image from the upcoming Commander toolset this time of a tool that we'd never seen before. Looking like a cross between a handheld radar and some sort of Wi-Fi scanner the profile analyzer can be used to scan an individual and display some basic personal information. It can also be used to scan an individual's security profile and then clone that profile to make a copy of the access credentials to put them to use in somewhat more nefarious activities. And then Thursday afternoon we got our first look at the arc cutter. This was the device used to cut through the access panel shown in the heist video. Whether this tool also has a dual purpose we don't yet know for sure. Frontier stated on their livestream on Tuesday that they've sorted out non-purple Twitch drops for future livestreams and that going forward there would be more and more information about Odyssey coming out and with the alpha just over a week away now we're betting that what we've seen released this week so far is by no means the last of it. It's a busy time in the bubble right now. All but one of the NMLA induced starport fires were out as of Thursdays server tick but there's still one station fire raging in Sol if you're of a mind to rescue some stranded civilians. With the end of the fire cycle the rest of the attached stations have now gone into a state of repair and Operation Ida as well as numerous other independent commanders have swung into action to start delivering the commodities needed to get the remaining 8 stations in Lave, Akinar, Alioth etc all back online. To complement the terrorist attack aftermath a trinity of community goals went live on Thursday to deliver the medicines needed to aid the attacks survivors to staging posts around the bubble and as a reward for a decent level of participation in the community goals some engineered modules as well as a type 6 transporter to put them in are up for grabs along with permanent system permits to the 3 superpowers core star systems. Sadly if you're of a level to make a significant contribution to the community goals then it's honestly unlikely that the relatively diminutive type 6 transporter and the two 3A engineered modules that are up for grabs are going to be of a huge benefit to you but if you think I might be missing some subtle detail then do please let me know in the comments below. Ultimately any way you cut it free is free and if you don't already own a type 6 and fancy doing some humanitarian hauling then why not? 
and I am enjoying the rewards for CG's beyond simple credits approach that FDev is now taking. Long may it continue. And finally this week prolific streamer and creator of very fetching tin foil headgear Malik VR is creating a sort of mind map showing elite dangerous characters, places, situations and things and how they might all tie together. Right now the board is mostly just tracking stuff and drawing some connections between them rather than drawing any specific conclusions about anything but if you're at all confused about all the names, places and things that regularly pop up on Galnet these days and why wouldn't you be then this could rapidly turn into a valuable resource for tin foil hatters everywhere. Suffice to say it's linked in the description below. We're assuming that Frontier must have something similar hidden in a basement vault somewhere at FDev Towers under 24 hour armed guard and that all the lines eventually inevitably lead to Raxler. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.